Hey, what's up, NXT youth? I hope you're doing well. If we have not had the pleasure to meet, my name is Micah Sheneman. I'm a CLC student and an NXT leader, and I'm so excited to be able to share with you guys. So this is going to continue our lunch break series, and we're going to be diving into day six of the Hillsong Young and Free devotional. Now, today revolves around the song Trust, which is a song about trusting God. It encourages us to give all of our troubles to God, no matter what we're facing. I want to start by asking you two questions. When do you feel the most anxious and how do you overcome those fears? Now, let's take a step back to 2008. I was seven years old and I was scared of a lot of things. And one thing in particular was tornadoes. Okay, I would watch storm chasers. I would be super, super into it. And I would think they're so cool. And then I would get to bed and I'd be terrified of them. Like, what if a tornado comes at night and I die? Like, I was scared. I would have dreams pretty much every night. And one day I was telling my mom about this and probably coming to her crying in the middle of the night. But she said, Micah, all you have to say is Jesus help me and he's going to take those fears right away from you. So I'm like, yeah, sure. It's that simple, right? And so that night I tried it. I was, I was getting scared and I was having these thoughts and these anxieties about tornadoes. And I said, Jesus help me. And what do you know? They went right away. I wasn't scared of them anymore. And it doesn't mean that it was it was completely gone right away, but it meant that, that Jesus was able to, to come and help me with those anxieties. Jesus, help me. That's such a simple statement. And it's such a small statement, but it has such an impact on your life. Now, 1 Peter 5, 7 says to cast all your anxieties on him. And it doesn't have to be more difficult than that. It doesn't have to be more difficult than Jesus, help me. It, it may look different in your life. It may look different than saying, Jesus, help me out loud. But it doesn't have to be more difficult than that. Now, with everything that's going on in the world, it's easy to get overwhelmed. There's bad news constantly. It's full of anxiety and, and loss of identity. But here comes the best part. God isn't sitting up in heaven thinking, oh, that's terrible for them. Like, oh, man, I hope they get through that. He's sitting right here next to us. He's with us through all of this. So don't feel overwhelmed when you're facing something that seems impossible. In a world where it seems that everything is against you, God is for you. Now, I want to ask you that first, the second question again. How do you overcome your greatest anxieties? I want to leave you today with a verse. And that's Joshua 1.9. It's a bold declaration of faith. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I hope that today you can trust that that's true. I encourage you to spend some time in worship today. Listen to that song and think about what it means for you to trust God in your own life. Think about that statement, Jesus help me. And find some ways to cast your anxieties on him. When you feel anxieties or troubles coming, ask Jesus to help you and I promise that he will show up. It's been so good talking to you guys. I hope you're doing well. I can't wait to see you guys again and to be able to worship with all of you. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you all have a good one.